This is good. So I'll, I'll send the people that are missing, I'll send them this video afterwards. So we're going to have a look at some silk reeling. Uh, we're going to have a look at some basics. And um, yeah, just check your posture. So you want your feet shoulder width apart. Uh, foot contact was something that was spoken about on uh, Saturday. And just sink sink your hips lengthen through the spine remember your chin is holding the small ball you're softly gazing forwards as you listen behind and listen above and just relax the shoulders and just let them let them hang down just take some slow deep breaths and while you're taking your slow deep breaths um, I will check these sound things that I've got the right mic on yeah 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 okay okay that, that's all fine that's all fine uh if any of you've got any questions you can either put them in the chat or you can uh, unmute yourselves and and ask stuff about the class not about you know life in general or what my uh what i think of the political situation in uh you know whatever so anyway so we just uh, sink down so it's as if you're about to perch yourself on a high stool so it's like you're just almost almost sitting gently draw the toes in and then breathing in and out so I had a fascinating conversation actually let's let's transfer our weight while I waffle I had a fascinating conversation with um, a podiatrist about the arches of the feet. It was just thrilling. I was completely thrilled. So, um, she, she had this theory that people's foot arch, arches, different levels, she reckons it's geographical adaptation because you get you get all the all the marathon and fast runners like from Kenya and stuff that have flat that don't have arches in their feet they have flat feet but they work perfect so it's it's all about yeah which which got me thinking about Tai Chi as a lot of things do um, it's about working to how you work to put it a bit not very eloquently but you, you work out how this thing works for you so you might have overarched feet you might have feet that don't have arches or you might have feet that have arches they all work, they're feet this is what you got uh, one, of, one of my one of my um, yeah, the, the um, Fred Howe, I'll send you the Fred Howe thing when I get a, when I get a chance because he really is fabulous. So you want to you want to feel the ground. So this is like really solid, reassuringly solid, rooted earth. And we just and we want to let go in the Ming Men point. So the Governor Vessel Meridian point here, Ming Men. You just want to let go there and, and lengthen. So when, you're, when you've got your posture, you're setting your posture up, you're just gently easing yourself into the correct posture. So my, my house is a bit like an Alfred Hitchcock film at the moment in that there's at least three cats, sometimes more. Uh, my new housemate seems to have trails of cats following after her and they and they all kind of sit around and look at you you know it's a bit eerie really quite frankly but they they're really good at one thing i've noticed especially the fatter one it's really good at filling its little they've got three little baskets they've all got that they all sit in and it will it will just fill the space and kind of just ease itself oh, into the right space 
and look really and you know it will start purring looking all like you know innocent like they're very good at that and um, the way it, it eases itself it will kind of go round a bit and then it will just sort of ease into this really and just look really relaxed it's great that's what we're supposed to be doing so like for example we're, we're easing ourselves into this Wu Chi position so so Wu Chi being the um, so that's your Tai Chi your Tai Chi symbol and then the Wu Chi is the empty circle before you get the um, you know that came in and then you and then you've got a bit of the black in the white and the bit of the white in the black because it's sort of think of it as a three-dimensional sphere and um, uh, the Dao De Ching's uh, the one uh, became two and then the two became many things was I can't remember it but anyway it's in the Dao De Ching the other problem with the Dao De Ching is I can only read the English version. Um, there was a version that was written, translated, and they had all the permutations of what the translation might be. It was really thick. Uh, I read that, but it was quite a... It's a bit like reading the telephone directory, you know. Um, but the problem with, with the translated things is it it's quite a pictorial language it's quite a visual language a lot of the symbols are actually look like pictures um, so it's open to interpretation but anyway the Wu Chi position that's like the position before things happen before before things manifest there you go right relax your jaw and we're, we're lengthening and we're sinking and while we're doing all this really tune into that really quiet calm place so I was exploring that place of calmness on the Sunday I was with a with a nun a venerable um, was it Chanda venerable Chanda she's she's from the Burmese tradition and um, Buddhism and um, uh, one of the things she was saying was about about what listening to your body listening to your body what does it want to do so at one point she said right we're going to do some seated meditation but if your body's telling you to lie down then you do that and I was like yes so I laid down and completely I was out I was sparko I was completely out and um, I'm sure she said some really wise and profound things and it was all very enlightened and all that. I can't remember none of it. I was asleep, but I felt much better. So there you go. But you want to listen. You want to pay attention. So it's a relaxed focus. You're focusing, but it's relaxed. It's from a place of, of clarity and stillness and connection to the ground. So... Um, yeah, the music you can hear in the background, that's my friend Peter Shearer. We're doing, um, we're recording in October, probably with some field recordings from Nick Penny. Um, it's healing, healing music. So open the, open the shoulders. So just really fill your space. Like, like the cat in a basket, it just goes like that. So ah, up, down, you're filling that way. You're filling out sideways. You're filling out front and back. Like the Michelin man, you know, the well Michelin person, there we are. <laughs> so draw the toes in. Relax the jaw. Slightly look down, softly gaze forward as you listen behind and above. It's like the eyes of a sleepy tiger, neither yin nor yang. Relaxed but alert. And it's, it's assertive rather than aggressive. It's this quiet knowing. You know, like you get with librarians. They are perfect at the sleepy tiger eyes. Terrifying people, librarians. You know. Okay, back to the middle. Allow your weight to settle just behind the ball of each foot. 
Are we just going to go forwards and back? And when we go forwards and back, this is where you want to lengthen through your spine. So we're looking at some uh, fundamentals today. One thing I noticed when I spend a whole day with my teacher, the, the, the week after, um, end up not doing a right lot, but more of it. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm re, uh, I'm upgrading. <laughs> so, there we go. So we're all nice and tall, and you want to just let let the chin gently rest on your imaginary small ball. Oh, it just ah. Take it easy. Uh, oh yeah, and you want happy knees, happy knees. So the knees are in line with the toes. And just nice and relaxed. No. Just feel the jaw relax, feel the face relax. So uh, what I'm gonna try and do is some of these uh, massage things. We've done some really good massage stuff with Eva in her. She does a uh, very relaxed Qigong class on a Tuesday morning. Um, I try and see them as much as I can very very good and um, there was some like quite useful massage techniques because so, I was so blissed out while doing them I can't actually quite remember what we did but I can remember some of it so we will do some of those okay now we've done forwards and back we've done side to side now we're going to go round and round so you're going to heel the heel the ball of the foot the ball of the foot um, now you choose which part of the heel so I go for the middle, this is now a foot saves me showing up, I go from the middle of the heel and then where the ball of the foot and the toes meet. So that little point there and again you're just about to sit down and these are all really, ugh, and you, you just go around and around. So what we're doing, <clears throat> we're um, We're working on our swing envelope. So that's a, a phrase I learnt from a physiotherapist um, about... Oh my goodness me, that's terrifying. About... 16 years ago, oh, I was in Manchester at the Tai Chi and Qigong Forum for Health um, and there was a guy from Scotland who's a physiotherapist and a Tai Chi instructor and he dealt purely with pain management and um, worked with a guy called Mark Langweiler who's now our editor of the Tai Chi Union magazine but a uh, uh, chiropractor and PhD in something to do with anatomy and physio, a very clever fe fella, both of them. And they were talking about pain management and also how they help with the pain management by, by being sensible with the exercises. It was really common sense and it was about how you approach things and, and this softening thing. Um, it was really, really good. But this was one of the exercises we did because they talked about the improving the, the sway envelope and just by rather than forcing exercises you just gently very gently increase your range of movement almost imperceptibly and then they were getting some really really good results but obviously because you know it was this tiny little clinic up in Scotland so that um, yeah just by like just by easing yourself into things rather than going right I must do this 110% they were getting people to do very little effort and they were getting these fast it was really really good so anyway this helps improve your balance because you're noticing the contact with your feet and the ground and then once you've got that you then have knock-on effects on the rest of your body and then okay we'll change direction so we're not wonky so Yeah, it was one, um, actually it was New Year's, New Year's Day at about 2am. Uh, a few weeks ago we'd just done um, our final 
each one day with Corel in Reading and we were doing this they've been doing this move for hours we did normally this move that I've just done with you we usually do for about an hour it takes about an hour 20 minutes each bit and uh, there we were and outside the Earl of Beaconsfield on Mill Road was a whole was a couple of blokes doing this exercise at 2 a.m. on New Year's Day and I went look 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 they're doing Corel's exercise and uh, well, they're not sinking their hips very well are they um, so there you go so you could do this in a pub and people would just think you know they wouldn't realize you were doing a high level Tai Chi practice there we are. I'm gonna keep le lengthening though marvelous right now we're gonna do a figure eight see this is great for the post office queue or the supermarket queue or waiting for the train actually is perfect for waiting for trains or even on the train but if you're on the train and you're practicing these exercises hold on to the bar because otherwise you go you know when it goes around the corner it's just, uh, and they're all go they've all got cracks in as well apparently so <laughs> my, I've got a friend of mine stuck in London stuck in that London at the moment and uh, she can't get back to where yeah terrible so there we go so notice the contact with your feet whatever's being waffled at you feet and then tune into that really quiet place there we go oh this is so exciting, isn't it? Now go in the other direction. Just yeah, we we will do other things too. I don't want you, you know. But contact with the feet. So um, yeah, so Master Fred how heavy like Mother Earth soft as water light as air but the way he said it it just it was like a light bulb went off in my whole body when he said it because he when he said it he moved and it, it was just completely mesmerizing i was like wow and, uh, sink the hips okay now normally we'd then look at the inside of the arch of the foot but we'll, we'll skip that pleasure and just lengthen and we'll, we'll do a little bit of loosening and we'll just go straight into the silk reading because um but yeah tune into that quiet place so it's like very very clear um it's clear calm solid connection to the ground this clear calm place of stillness and clarity so like um i was at a keep going yeah yeah he's he's amazing well there's a few teachers with parkinson's now actually um, Dan Doherty, he's got Parkinson's and um, I went to a seminar with him when they hadn't quite got his meds sorted uh, and then you know he had to do things like he'd have to take the meds and then wait a bit before the things kicked in and we were doing some punching and at one point he just fell on the ground and then he got up again and you still wouldn't want to mug him um, he's seriously tough i mean you can you can do a lot you can do a lot um but yeah when when you see master master fred house videos there's a definite tremor in his movements but it doesn't matter they work and that that's you know that's why i like this art so much you can you can um it works 
You know, if you've got a pulse, you can do Tai Chi. That's it. <laughs> So relax the, relax around the jaw, relax around the jaw and just really, really floppify your arms. So um, Andrew Hecker, um, um, he talked about the, the Tai Chi Chuan, learning Tai Chi Chuan is a process of limpification. Because like, we were doing a loosening thing and then he looked at us and kind of, almost like when um, we got this... We've got this war and peace of uh, boilers. We, we, even though they're in masks, we recognise them now because they're always checking out. The boiler keeps making this weird noise, and it's been, it's been like it for six months. They're going to get us a new one. Apparently, they've tried everything. I love the noise it makes. I wish I'd recorded it. But um, anyway, they like they suck the air through the teeth, and it, he was a bit like that when we were we were in this seminar and he kind of looked at us and then sadly shook his head and went mm, that's not limpy enough you need to be limpier and then we we tried to be limpier and then he went round and he went round me and he went more limpy and I went oh so you want to you wanna, really ugh. these are like long lengths of rope with a knot on the end that's better okay now lengthen through your spines a bit more and sink the hips Remember, we got 24 karat golden pelvises. Yeah. Now that's better. And you wanna, yeah, just relax a sec. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do a barry. Right, right. Your shoulder joint. You wanna feel the shoulder joint. You wanna feel stuff moving in the shoulder joint. So you want your arms, you want your arms really relaxed. So they, they kind of, I'm keeping mine down. Think like a um, really tired teenager. You know, not that actually teenagers these days, they're out with placards protesting about the planet, aren't they? Uh, I was out, I was listening, I was chatting to, I was on a, on a thing and I was, I was being very reliably informed by a 16 year old who completely, you know, outclassed my brain. <laughs> So actually, yeah, imagine you're a 50 something. There you go, that's more like it. They're, they're, more, they're like the teenagers these days. Okay, that's better, isn't it? Okay, now we'll, we'll just do the, the bounce so that the, these movements, the shaking and the bouncing, is what you use for things like your bath. So that. And those sorts of things so that's where this comes in handy yeah we did some of that at the weekend so um, you've put your hands in a pot of paint each you've got your A3 sheet there and your and you can try different speeds so you can do your kind of hummingbird wing speed and then you can do your snail with a hangover speed can they get hangover? I'm not sure if they can. Anyway, so. Yeah, it was, well, I was, um, the other day it was really raining and hailstones and I, I recorded the thunderstorm and then afterwards I had to keep moving the snails out the way because, you know, I often wander around in bare feet. There's nothing worse than crunching. One, it's horrible to the snail and you feel terrible. But then it gets all, uh, it's just disgusting. So, yeah. <laughs> they should have a special thing. You know, like you get them litter pickers and then you pick the litter up without having to touch it. They should have one for snails after the rain so you don't squish them. That's like a snail friendly litter picker. Or... Anyway, keep going. Relax around your jaw. Fabulous. And then we'll do the, um, yeah, we'll do bounce and we'll do a bit of shaking. Eva's really into shaking at the moment. Shaking and um, DIY massage. Because she does the DIY massage on her face and that every day. And Corel was moaning at her that she doesn't look as wrinkled. 
And I'm like, right, I'm having some of that. Not that there's anything wrong with looking wrinkled, you know, it, it shows you've got wisdom apparently, so. <laughs> right, I'll go and dig myself another hole later. Relax, shake out. Okay, let's do Barry's leg swing. I'm, in, I'm into Barry's leg swing as well. I like it, it's a bit, it's a bit jazz hands. You don't have to do the jazz hands. Yeah, you can do the jazz hands if you want. We just, <laughs> I'm getting some, I'm getting some flappers here. This is great. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. Well, there we go. Fabulous, and that will that will tone up your beautifully. Um, I will go out to the I'll go out to the side. We might as well carry on. Okay, four more, and then we'll forget it ever happened. Okay, have a little shake out. Uh, oh, hamstrings, sorry. So we better do the hamstrings just to. So Eva's really into exercising hamstrings as well. And they're also, um, Eva, uh, Mike, Eva and um, Barry are all into swimming, smiling dragon at the moment. But all three of them do it slightly different, which is why I can't teach it at the moment. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, that one, one, two, three, four, five, you just, seven. This is a good one for the legs. Fifteen, sixteen, great, and then kick the football forwards. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, and we're breathing. Right, that's it. Have a little shake. So it's nice to wake the legs up. Let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, because the um, Mike and Chris aren't here, we'll, we'll just sort of carry on, really. And then go around the other way. So we're like this. Have a look from the... So I'm moving this. nice we'll just carry on so when you do this one this is fresh from Barry we'll do it like this first just do it plain three it's very good um, there's a muscle either side of the spine your quadratus lumborum it's good for holding you up it's a nice one to stretch because they, they do a lot especially when you're stuck on on Facebook and zoom and all day long it can get really tight round here and it's not much fun okay now okay have a look uh yeah I'll, I'll do that so what happens now is you're like this this one goes back slightly and this one goes forward slightly so you get like a little kind of extra twist so try it slowly so this one forward this one back and this is what not as exaggerated as that make it less make it less and it puts an extra twist in that that movement I quite like it I can feel it doing good things to my shoulders seven and eight so that's fresh from Barry yesterday it's only taken me a year to work out what he's doing but now I've got it I'm like yeah that's quite good okay uh peng flying peng so we'll just do it like this first we're just feeling that so this is a smaller version so not this morning we did the big marble spheres but now we're doing the baby the small marble spheres about that about that big we're just going round no worries A 
Okay. And then we'll do the peng, flying peng. We turn. We come up and round and down. That's it. So what we do is we come up. Up that way. That's it. And then we turn and come back and round. There we go. So flying peng. So peng's a mythological bird. So think mythological thoughts. We've got good posture. We've got good contact with the ground. We're moving from a still quiet place of calmness and clarity. So it's about being calm. So one other thing that Master uh, Howe said, and then we'll, we'll go the other other arm, other arm, so we're not wonky. Because you know, if you're flying, you want both wings equal. Keep breathing, marvellous. And you're, you're observing the movement all the way through. So you want to pay attention. And remember you're being respectful. You're listening. You're paying attention. And you're being mindful on how you're moving. So, especially because, you know, we're online. So I can't... Because you're all a bit... Because we all look flat. We've got to monitor our own... Um, monitor our own correct technique so there we go and then we'll do uh, yeah let's do dragon let's do the dragon so one nice and chilled this is a very relaxed dragon it's like a really lazy afternoon tea you know dragon serves teacups and just think about your posture think about the movement try and get the arms and the hands expanding the hands expand so you don't spill the tea not bad everybody that's fabulous that really is fabulous and we're breathing breathe 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 wonderful wonderful yeah Good effort. Even if you're doing something different to what I'm doing, that's perfectly fine. Just do it in a relaxed way. Connect your body. Engage the whole body in the movement. Keep breathing, nice and relaxed. Tall through your body. Remember, you're a dragon. You're a dragon. So you, you, you're associated with the element water. You've got your smooth at moving. You're connected. You're strong. I've lost count, we'll just keep going. This is great. We're on a roll here. And then what you can do is you can slowly move around now, but do it really slow, like you're doing like a courtly dance. Or a I was been watching dancing on the internet. Um, one of my friends teaches like Lindy Hop and Balboa and blues and all that. So I was watching watching the dancing beautiful some of it's really fast but there's also blues dancing very slow very slow and just fabulous and you can just move however you want just move around it's quite nice isn't it you know you just kind of make it up as you go along 
bit like when you're teaching Tai Chi classes. And then you just, there we go. Ha! Fabulous, okay. Let's have a little shake out. One, two, three, hey! Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. So yeah, we're not doing a right lot today. We're just doing principles, I think. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have a little shake out. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And this is from Barry, so wrists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe one. Let's shake those. And then um, with the spinal wave, we're gonna do the we're gonna do that one with a spinal wave that way and then when you go the other way you can actually go all the way down like that if you want that's how Barry's been doing it recently so and I'm because uh, I'm copying him that's what we're I, and it feels quite but you can just do it like that as well but you might want to compare them I quite like the really big version I, I feel that it gets more of a uh, my back gets more of a workout in it but it's up to you. So I'll show it from the diagonal and we'll do eight in that direction and then we'll do eight in that direction. And we'll do, actually we'll do some, some uh, we'll have a water break and then do some silt reading. So here we go, ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. So one thing that Ian, that was his name, Ian, Ian the physiotherapist from Scotland and the Tai Chi practitioner, he was saying that you work within the soft limits of the body. So that's not going to where you feel it's uh, uncomfortable, you go to well before the uncomfortable. So you're in the soft limits. And by and then the soft limits got bigger. They got bigger. So try again the other way round. One, two, three, four, five. It's fascinating. Six. And they got very good results. Seven, eight. So they weren't saying these people wasn't in pain because obviously they was. They weren't like saying pretending something they weren't but what they were doing was helping them improve in their soft limits and like taking the edge off a bit somehow it was brilliant i don't know if it's still going on this was like a good time ago but it, it did get you thinking it did get you thinking okay it's actually a national program but i wish that they teach it to the welsh oh okay uh, it's now international okay okay yeah because it was when I when I was learning of them they'd only just started it uh, like three years before it was like um, but it, it's all common sense it's all common sense which I highly approve of common sense <laughs> so we'll do some of this and we'll have a water break but let's just let's just get a bit moving because we've we've been doing a lot of uh, listening to my waffle so so when you come down, imagine you're in water and you're expanding the fingers. You're expanding the fingers, that's it. And you come up. That's it. Really nice. So this is one of Barry's. I just love it. Because it's so simple and you feel wonderful. <laughs> so here we go. And it's uncannily similar to the beginning of Chen form as well. 
And one more time. Nice. Let's just get the waist turning. So we're going to start here. We're going to turn the waist. We're going to turn the waist. We're going to turn the waist. So keep your arms very quiet, they're very soft. So one thing Master Chung used to, because um, I was learning the loosening exercises of Master Chung, and um, at one point he went, shh, shh. And I went, oh, Master Chung, what's, what's wrong, Master Chung? And he goes, your arms, too loud, shh. <laughs> so, yeah. So the, the loud bit actually is the feet and the waist. So you want the arms very light. You know, soft as water, light as air is the arms. This is the heavy as Mother Earth bit. I wish I had Fred's gravity. I mean, he looks just like this skinny, skinny chap. <laughs> this skinny chap that wobbles a bit. Um, but I've crossed hands with him. I was, it, it, it was mind blowing. It really was. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fabulous. I just, uh, and he's one of the nicest fellas ever. He's just so nice. But he, uh, he used me as his main stooge for an entire afternoon in this seminar with him. Uh, it was a complete, like, I was like, oh my goodness. And, and then after, people kept like asking me questions, and I'm like, I've got no idea. <laughs> so I'm just being thrown about by this old guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all fine. There we go. That's lovely, everyone. That's beautiful. Really good. Okay. Brilliant. Um, let's have a water break, and we'll can continue with some salt reeling, and... Um yeah, we'll just carry on through actually, because 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 the other lot are. Um... I'll I'll leave out the character building leg exercises. That that was horrendous. Oh, oh, actually no, I will show it to you, but we won't do it in the way we did it in the thing. We'll do the light version. We'll do the leg murder light version. Oh, you're as a character field, yeah. I mean, that's the problem, you know. I got, I was like, I was noticing yesterday. I was in the woods. Uh, there's this woody dairy in one of the parks, um, because I needed some tree therapy. Because after the after the day meditation, I've been listening to my body, and it said, "You want to hang out around some trees?" So I did that and did my Chen style, and then did some like of the exercises from Barry, the pull ups and the press ups and stuff and then the leg murdering exercises and then I was like no I'm listening to my body again I want to sit down on this bench and drink my tea and I'm like this is good this listening to the body um, and then the other thing is I listened to my body and I ate free chocolate chip cookies on Sunday enlightenment yeah <laughs> Fabulous. So there you go. So it does it does help to listen. Yeah, well, I had a visitor and he's gone to bed, so this is all good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> go and lie down. If you need to lie down, lie down. I don't mind. So we're getting our um actually I'll pull the thing down. Yeah. If any of you have got any questions or whatever, do feel free to pipe up, otherwise I'm just talking all myself. Have you a new writer for my comedy Tai Chi? It's, uh, no, I haven't got a new writer. It's just me. Thanks for that. <laughs> so we're, we're like this. So as as promised, so you what you do is you're like that. You want your hands in front like that. And then she said, imagine someone's putting laundry or was it suitcases? It was suitcases. So you get a suitcase and as you come up, someone's put more baggage on your hands arms and we'll do it this way first now apparently you're supposed to spend a minute going down 
and a minute coming up and then what happens is the suitcases get changed for helium balloons so as you pull down you've got the helium balloons being added and added and added so it's like now we've got the suitcases so have the arms up and then pull See, you can feel it's knit building character <laughs> character building leg exercise now what you do is you turn and as you come down you kind of almost pull in like a, a cat pulling it along its claws they go oh got the wrong these shorts aren't very stretchy i'll get some stretchier shorts and then you turn and come up now this is much faster than what we were doing but this is bad enough, isn't it? You know, this is bad enough. And you're pulling in, you're pulling in. And then you're coming up. Oh! Now, if you do this super slow, Corel reckons you can do this over five minutes, going down for five minutes and then coming up for five minutes. I just thought I'd throw that one in if you fancy. I'm not going to, I'm going to stick with this. It's murder, isn't it? Murders your shoulders and it totally murders your legs. Okay, and someone's very sensibly resting. Let's just do that. Thanks, Darren. That's very sensible. Oh, my goodness. Because we're listening to our body. We're listening. We're being mindful. We're being respectful. Yeah? Yeah, you can do the chorus line stuff. so but this is a really good one for building strength by moving slowly you're exercising the muscles posturally and uh it's yeah and that that's like a pulling in thing he he did a uh application on ever i think he got her to throw a punch and or he got her to grab grab uh his hand and he pulled in and then did a did a punch and some strikes the other side it's quite interesting um okay let's do some more silk reading the other one that i looked at recently was push away the mountain silk reeling so so we, we stroke the giraffe's neck we flip we like this flip the hand around and then we've got one bendy arm and one straightier arm so you turn to the straighter arm first, you turn to the bend, bent arm, you bring your hands like you're calling to prayer, and then you, yeah, it's E Diva today or tomorrow, because I'm still waiting to hear, so I can have a bit of a party, but you just go down. So then I can wish all my cousins happy Eid. <laughs> so, yeah, but the, the problem is because of the moon thing, they, they get the person in... Um, uh, Mecca looking at what the moon looks like and then they, they know what day it is are going to be on it's um, like like the guy at the top of the minaret and then so feel that your whole body is connected and So as you as you turn in, that spirals in, and think of a, a, a coil that uncoils or a spring that uncoils. So and really soft arms. So you're you're turning. Now you go like this. Now when you go here, you're coiling into the spring. So imagine the spring being pushed down and compressing, and then it releases. Like like a virus particle that's how they, it's like a springy mechanism I, w I was looking at um you know, topically enough it's like they release the contents <laughs> so 
There we go. All connected, connected, soft, smooth, slow, engage the whole body. Yeah, nice moving. Engage the whole body in the movement. Okay, last one. Have a little shake out. We'll have a look at the um, silk reeling number one. And then I will have a go at that one that Corel. Um, I'll, wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to look at a short video break. Let's see if I can do this. I think I might have it. Yeah. Okay, let's give that one a go. I don't know the name of it. It's from Stinger and we did it on sun, uh, Saturday. Uh, so it's, it's more upright and you start here like this and then he goes like that and he goes like that and then he goes like that and then he kind of did this sort of stuff. One, two, three, four, one, two, he sort of does this kind of stuff and then did this thing. I'm not sure what he was doing that for. This is kind of what happened. Actually, I'm just going to do this bit, actually, because he, he has an extra flip in it, but this will this will do for now. So you go one, you turn the waist, you flip the hand out. You bring the hand in, you turn the waist, you flip the hand out. This is what it looks like from the back. So if you can see my waist is turning. Relax the jaw. So, yeah, the good thing about you, um, Zoom classes is you can then do the other angles. So there's a little bit more to it than that, but this will this will keep us going for a bit, and then when I ask him again, at least we've started. But this isn't the full move. This is just a bit of a full move that I haven't quite fathomed yet. But this is still useful, so we're doing it. I've been wanting to teach this for weeks, but <laughs> I'll ask him. The problem with Corel is that you'll show him something and then he'll go, what is that? I have never seen it before in my life. And you just think, oh, he's, he's got this really dry sense of humour. It's quite, I quite like it. It's a bit kind of... Marvellous, right, okay. Uh, ha, 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 
Sorry. So we're sinking our hips. That's great. Okay, and then, then relax. <laughs> yeah. Silk reading number one. Silk reading number two. So everybody knows this one. That's it. Yeah. So it's always good when you've been doing more complicated -y stuff to to do stuff that you know. To do stuff that you know, so Relax, tall through the body, use your eyes, sleepy tiger eyes. So I'm not going too deep, I, I'll go a bit deeper just because Eva told me to practice going deep, but you don't have to, you can stay upright, that's perfect, that's perfect, I'm just doing it like this. Nice and light, okay, so you want to really lighten your arm, make it really soft and light. Soft like a feather, light like a feather. Soft as water, light as air. Light as air, that's it. And we just. Great stuff. Okay, right, we're going to do silk reading number two. I'll just show you that. So again, you want to really lighten the arms, really, really light and, and, and kind of floppy. So, but but even so, you still want to keep the shape. You still want to keep the shape. So it's this, um, yeah. There we go. Nice, yeah, everyone's getting it, aren't they? Fabulous, so remember you're keeping your shoulder joint nice and open, nice and happy, the arms nice and light and you just. Relax around the jaw, very good, very good. Keep breathing. Very good. Okay, that was so good. We're going to do that with the other arm now. That's it. So get the other arm. Remember, we're not in a hurry. We are taking our time. We're nice and relaxed. Right, and while we're doing this, I'll see if I can remember that one I learnt off of Eva. We'll do it both sides as well just because it's a really good exercise. I found it very beneficial in yesterday's Chen style class at 10. So uh, yeah, I won't be able to go to a 10 o'clock class anymore because I'm teaching in um, in Burwell, but I will try and get to a eight o'clock class because then it means I'll be able to get over there. Okay, shake out. Right, so what um, I'll show you, so it's, like this, like this, like this, and then you step back, step back. I think that's right. 
Yeah. Oh, I've not done it that side before. So goes one, up one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's try that uh, the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll do it this side because it's it's um one two three step back with the left four five six one two three four five six so this is how she's currently doing getting into the single whip one two three four five six okay i'll try it the other way but don't <laughs> my brain explodes one two Three, four, five. That's more like it. Six. I've got it. I'll just try not to think. I'll just do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay and again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'll do. It will probably be slightly different next week because uh, obviously I only did this yesterday and only worked out what she was doing. But um, yeah. Okay. Well. We'll do a bit of the each one. Um, we'll do some more to Molly. Oh no, the Shilly. So Molly is sensing strength. Shilly is testing strength. No, yeah, testing strength. So, for example, if we do ping tray Shilly, we'll start here. So we're going. 70 30 50 50 and we're doing our looking forwards listening behind and we're also going to have a look we did the planting punch and the roundy punch so i can actually show those this week because we did them on saturday but he didn't do them that long which was a bit annoying but there you go so we're going like this and then we go like this ping tray shilly so we're just going to look at ping tray shilly So Molly's when you stay still and you're feeling, this is like the almost movement. I asked him, can you please distinguish between the two? Because it, it's a bit embarrassing because I've been, I've been trying to do this art with him since 2004. <laughs> oh well, I'm a bit of a slow learner. 
Are you on a... It's almost like you're moving through a resistance. So, extend the fingers, that's it. Okay. Try that on the other side. So, this is very good for building the strength in your shoulders. That's code. Keep breathing. Yeah. I would, every time Carol goes, this is very good for your, and everybody goes, oh no, no. We also did Tai Sha, but we're not going to. We're, we're running out, rapidly running out of time. But this soft, smooth, and slow. Soft, smooth, and slow. Right, the other one we did was with a turning movement because he got asked about that. Have a little shake out. Have a little shake out. Actually, let's go back to this one. So we've got, we've still got, because we'll be using the waist in the next movement. So, um, so the next one's a bit interesting. And again, I haven't quite got it. So uh, this is kind of right at the edge of my understanding, but hey, why not? I'll just throw them in anyway, because, you know, maybe we can work out, work them out together, you know. So, it's like the beginning of Ping Tray Shilly, but then you have a little turn. And you see, so you can turn to the outside, you can turn to the outside, but you can also turn to the inside. And then what he tends to do is he tends to turn his hand around, either the front hand or the back hand. Like that. It's quite nice. It's a bit like, it kind of reminds me a bit of like a coral reef or something. There's this real nice. So you sink back and sink forward. Again, subject to correction from Corel, I might be teaching complete and utter rubbish, but this, 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 there'll be something, there'll be something correct in, in the rubbish. <laughs> I think this is all right. It seemed to be what he was doing. You can actually do the same one. Now try the same one a few times. Use your whole body, you see, because I because I can connect my whole body. Even my rubbish looks pretty good these days. So <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now try it the other way. So this is like a type of a of a. Um, Right, now try that on the other side. Okay, and then try the other side. So I will be teaching outside tomorrow, whatever the weather is. Um, but it's quite nice to be indoors. So what we're going to do, have a little shake out, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh, planting punch and we're also going to look at the round punch. So um, yeah, but we'll work our way into those. Let just see, why is that playing that already? Twilight 
Right, so if we just start here. Actually, I'm, I'm going to have to pop this off because uh, I tend to overheat when I do the punching. It gets a bit, gets a bit heat making. So, um, so what do we start here? And we're just going to go like this and round and down and this. So we just do this. This is what I learnt from Paul. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Keep breathing. That's it. So you're... And then we go down that way. I'll show that from the back. Okay, right now we're going to do this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't worry if you haven't quite got it yet, that's kind of normal. So the planting punch, so you start here and then this just goes down. So one thing Corel said, there's no like pulling back and then going down, it just plain old goes down. So we'll just do this one, so we go one, two, and then, then you come back to your guard position, three. And as that goes down, that kind of can do that, or it can, it kind of goes it, there's a counterbalance thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on, let me do this right. Nine, without moving the knee. Let me do this correctly. Start again. Well, that's better. Two, three, four. So it just goes, it just literally just goes down, five, six, and it's quite a sneaky little, it's all a spirally punch, seven, eight. Okay, try that on the other side. So get your posture just so, and you're using your body, you're using your body like that. So, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nice, nine, ten. So I always keep some sort of a guard up, it's just sensible. So now what you can do is you can go one and then the other one goes down, two. One, and we're not going no faster than that, unless you fancy it. But I'm, I'm going to be demonstrating like this. I, I did it faster the other day, so I've got nothing to prove now. So it goes down, and it goes down. Down, down. This is not quite the right music for this kind of thing, but never mind. It's nice and relaxed. Relaxed punching with compassion, you know, Dad. <laughs> yeah, if you want to double up the speed, you can, if you want, and you can also do it with the stepping. So I'm keeping my arms up, and we'll do the other side now. So remember, we're being mindful of how we're moving. Down, 
down. So I, I have a little foot, I just sneak my foot over there just to give the space so I'm punching in the same place. Down, down, down. And we're breathing. And then what you can do is you can go one, two, three if you want. So you try and minimise extra movements. You just make it very plain and clear, very clear movements. Once more each side. Fabulous. Okay. Just breathe in, just calm the mind. Regulate the breathing. Calm the body. Get into your body. Get out of your mind, get into your body. Fabulous. Okay, and then back to that one. So we're just taking it easy with the punching. So you, you don't have to punch like, uh, you know, and, and be in a hurry. You can do it with correct, uh, correct alignment, correct technique. And then the speed will come. The speed will come with practice and time. So we just. Okay, the next punch was the round, uh, the, like the hook punch. Now he was saying there's different, you can kind of hook that way. He did it that way because then you can kind of come around the back um, or you can hook that way or you can hook that way. So just have a little play around with that. We were, we were playing around with that. And then we we're basically going like this. So it went forward and round. This is slightly different. Uh, those of you that come to my Tai Chi fitness classes on a, on a Friday and a Tuesday, it's different to those sorts. So that, that's from Ollie. I did speak to Ollie on the phone. We're, we're trying to sort out. I'm going to either meet up with him fortnightly or weekly where he's going to completely take apart my punching and kicking. I can't wait. Um, and 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 it's 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 really good but for the the hooking for the each one hooking because the the thing isn't really it's more about your alignment and is your body comfortable and is it working correctly rather than is this thing going to actually work on the street that's what the ollie stuff's for this is more for principles and structure really you're testing your structure so and, and corral's got no interest in in whether it actually works or not He's, he's just interested in the science of it, really. But but that's fine. But I think with a bit of adaptation, they probably could work. So you go round like that. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just try some different different types of and he also did this thing where it kind of came back in on itself so it's like if you were going to hit someone around the back of the head that was quite a sneaky little one he was doing all these little subtle variations okay try that on the other side so this is the one on the least because normally we never get round to it <laughs> so uh, well, it seems to work better on the left for some reason so you're using your body, using your body, and then you've got your hands, and you're also looking with your peripheral, at least your peripheral vision, at what you're hitting, and then just try some different, you know, one, two, three. So you can go forward, or you can go slightly back if you want. He was going forward. Kind of depends. It's good to be able to, to do that. 
and then um, it was just one, two. I prefer doing the one, two one, it seems to flow a lot more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, we'll do sixteen on the other side. One, two, so again, cut out any extra movements you don't need. Three, make it very streamlined and efficient. Four, five, six, and these moves change each time you should you do it, it should feel a bit different. Eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, using the bounce and the shape for the power, 16, 17, 18, arms up, 19, 20, nice. Regulate the breathing, calm the mind. It's a catchphrase I stole from Barry. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Useful catchphrase. Okay, next we're gonna do the um, rising punch. So we're just gonna go, because we know what we're doing. We've done this one before. So that's where this bit kind of stretches up. So you're, you're, um, yeah, one, two. And we'll have a look at the side snap kick because we did that and I think I've almost got it. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nice. Okay, sixteen on the other side, and then we'll have a look at the kick, and then, um, yeah. If any of you need to leave at two, that's okay. <laughs> two, three. Remember, we're keeping our, our, our hands up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then Carell said you can punch in any angle. Ten. 11, but you have to work out what those angles are yourself. 12, 13, 14. It's good for building up your stomach muscles. 15 and 16. There we go. Oh, and I'll do you a receipt, Darren, as soon as I've just haven't had a chance to check my bank yet. Okay, so the side snap kick, I'll have my hands up just to, it kind of comes like that and then like that. It kind of goes. So it comes out and it's a low kick. I'll just keep doing it because I, so it's the, it's the, it's the side of the, it's that part of the foot that you hit with. I mean, obviously you'd have, big boots on or something you wouldn't do this in bare feet Ollie Ollie is an advocate of wearing footwear when you're kicking people which just seems really sensible to me brilliant 
Thanks, Darren. <laughs> yeah. Are you off, mate? Okay, thanks for coming. Such a sit at four. For music, what kind of thank four. you? Yeah, sit at four o'clock. Right. Okay, and then we've got the this one. So like you've slipped on a banana skin. That's what he said. So we just go one. So I'm not so hot on this one. It's getting the hip movements. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we go. We'll do something chilled out for the last part of the class. Okay. Let's have a little look at the the Janwu. Um, just to kind of now you can do it really slow so so we're just moving around yeah are you are you off as well but two, okay we'll close and then we'll, we'll better do the, the face massaging and then we'll do a bit of jam woo and then we'll we'll all go and lie down in the darkened room so Okay, and then embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Okay, and then Rub the hands together and polishing the face. And then rub the hands together again and give a low back a rub. And then embrace a tiger, return to the mountain. One more time. And then make a fish with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together and bow. Right, so those of you that are leaving at two, well done. Those of you that aren't, we're going to do very slow motion Jan Wu for a bit. Thank you. Bye. Thanks a lot. Good job. Good job. Very slow motion Jan Wu. So just really slow and think about if if fast stuff spontaneously comes, that's fine. But and if you want to put put some kicks and punches in and make it a slow motion fighting dance. That's fine too. But we're just... Are they going to dance? Huh? Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, you can you can do a little dance, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of what you feel like doing because we're listening to our bodies and working out what we want to do. Whatever, whatever works. I won't do it too long because it's quite tiring. Yeah, it's so it's, it's dancing. It's called health dance or fighting dance or martial dance. So. But 
you want to you want to move around in a relaxed manner which is why it's quite good to every now and then just slow down to kind of very relaxed quiet somewhat tired snail pace and just to see see what kind of decides to come up spontaneously through the chaos and manifests You know, if you if you know your elements, you might want to think about your elements. Might want to think about water. Fire. Earth. Wood. All that. Metal. You know, circles, spirals, Yeah, that would really freak them out, wouldn't it? <laughs> just move any moves you can. You can just practice your moves. You can use it as a way of practicing stuff. Okay, just uh, yeah, let's practice this one. Ha! Ah. Oh, I'm getting warm. So you, you like this, and then you just go like this. So this is the one um, you imagine you're uh, like, for example, this is my box of clothes pegs. Here you go, look. not to lose them all so you got you imagine like you've got leaves in your hands and you you, you kind of come up like that and then they and then they um, spray out yeah that was fun so that's that's what this is like but slow and this bit this bit comes back this bit comes back So, I can't remember the name of this. Oh, that's too much. You want to really let go, really floppy fy the arms. Let me do this more floppy fied. That's better. And, and there's like a, like when we were doing the gem woo, there's that, that springy feeling in the body. Springy feeling in the body. Uh, three, four. You can you can do it fast, you can do it slow. And then when the, the leg feels like it's on fire, then you change. And you're you're softly gazing forwards, you're listening behind and above. So that's all still that's all still going. Um. 
Okay, the other version um, he calls knocking the nails into the wooden post. So you imagine big, thick, wide nail heads, and and then what you do is you go like this. So you, you just kind of knock the nails in the wood, knock the nails in the wood. Oof, I've got probably room enough for two. One, two. And it's follow step, you're doing the follow step. Follow step, follow step, follow step, follow step. So it's like a, like a spring, bang, and it drives in, drives in, bang, bang. Yeah, quite good fun. Okay, let's do something relaxed for the last few minutes, otherwise we'll just let's floppy fire the arms nice and relaxed sink down take a wider stance we're going to do two turns per leg one two one two one two one two so really floppy fire the arms Okay, other side. Okay, shake it up. Okay, sun and moon. Sun and moon. So we just go like this, we're breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, you can do it sitting down if you want, that's fine. Sun. And moon. Sun and move. Just check your posture. Nice and relaxed. So just feel the head float up, feel the, the hips sink down. Check your check your posture. So you want to feel the ground under your feet. And just imagine you're standing in water. So imagine you're standing in very cool water and just go very gently forwards and back a bit so you can feel the water going past your hands and your arms and fingers. And then lifting water, lifting water and down. Sink, lift the water, come slightly forwards towards the toes and down. And then rolling the ball in water.
Okay. Calm the mind. Regulate the breathing, calm the energy. Mind is calm, body is calm, energy is calm. Mind is balanced, body is balanced, energy is balanced. And then embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. And one more time. Right, before the bell, I better put my school shirt back on. <laughs> it's better, isn't it? Gosh, it's boiling though. Okay, so check your posture. And then one more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. And just stand. Make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together and bow. Brilliant. Right. Cool. Oh gosh, I overran. Whoops. Sorry about that. Uh